com batidas, com ritmo, né? Bloody rolling. Okay. Let me fix my hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hello, friends. It's Leilani. So I'm actually in the car with my sister. <laughs> It's been so long since I've actually done a thrift with me and I actually get to take you guys into the store and I'm particularly excited because sister and I have never been thrifting together before. For like how avid of a thrifter I am, I don't understand how we have never thrifted together. So we're very excited and let's just get going because we are overheating. See you guys in Goodwill. So Kiki and I pulled up to one of my favorite Goodwills. I tend to have really good luck here despite it being on the smaller side, but it's close to the beach. So I was hoping that they would have a decent summery inventory because I don't know about you guys, but I usually have way better luck thrifting autumn and winter clothing. I always struggle with finding cute summer pieces, but just from our first impressions, it looked like they were really well stocked. <laughs> So we took that photograph of Albert Einstein riding a bicycle as a good omen. But anyway, here is my thrift list. I'm always adding items to this list, so when I actually go thrifting, I can scan through this so I have a better idea of what sections I should be looking in. So it's time to grab a cart and get to work. So first, I wanted to check out the tanks because I really want some fun tops. I have a good collection of basics, but I'm trying to jazz it up and live a little, you know? So immediately, Kiki found this adorable Y2K top with a little butterfly securing the straps in the back. And we all know that butter yellow is the color of the season, and I found this cute little tank from Zara. And I found another Zara piece that I actually already own. It's a cropped little poof sleeve top that I wear all the time. And maybe y'all noticed that I had polka dots on my thrift list, so I thought this top was precious. I also found a navy polka dot tankini. And I know I said I'm trying to find more fun tops, but I cannot resist a cute little white tank. It's pretty much my uniform in the summer, so I could not resist taking a little peeky peek. But look at this gorgeous top. I think this is proof that white tops don't have to be basic. Like, this is so stinking fun. And sister found this really nice linen vest, and she also found this silky cami. I loved the button details and the lace trimming, and not me dropping everything, SOS. But anyway, the top was Abercrombie and Fitch, and we popped that into our cart for sister to try on later. Then we moved along to the blouses, and the fun colors on this top immediately stood out to me, so it definitely added that to the cart. And I don't know if someone just donated a bunch of Abercrombie and Fitch because Kiki kept finding so many of their pieces, like this cream blouse and long sleeve bodysuit. This was brand new with tags, so sister tried on both of them. Then we moseyed on over to the pants, and I had fun pants on my thrift list because I'm really trying to branch away from my basics. These striped capris were really cute, but sadly weren't my size. These screamed 2020 and gave me war flashbacks, and I was intrigued by this pattern in minty blue color. They were from Urban Outfitters, but were too small for me. And they had a pretty decent selection of shorts that day, but I had zero luck with the skirts. And y'all, we found some great dresses, like this orange one with the lacy bralette detail and this was also from urban outfitters and this satiny tie-dye mini dress was so unique and what do you know it's also from urban outfitters and i freaking loved the silhouette of this dress with the ruching on the sides it was from freaking free people brand new with tags so i made sister try it on it was a little pricey though and y'all recently i've been so into men's button-ups and the thrift store is the way to go there's no no reason for me to buy them new. Then we checked out the purses, but I didn't have a whole lot of luck. They did have quite a few of these woven straw bags, which are always trendy in the summer. <laughs> Gianni Versace. Versace. <laughs> And I also always peep the shoes while thrifting, but I never seem to have luck in this department. The cute ones are never in my size. These are highly perplexing. 
it's not a thrift trip without checking the home section. If y'all watch my room makeover video, you saw just how much home decor I was able to get secondhand. Also, sister kept flicking everything to see if it was glass or crystal. Honestly, we still don't really know how to tell. But also, if you're looking for dishes, the thrift has so many unique one-of-a-kind pieces. Kiana bought some serving dishes, and I thought this heart plate set was absolutely darling. Also, don't get me started on any ocean-themed items. Not me wanting a bag of shells. Oh, thank God. This is all we need today. So we were finally ready to head to the dressing rooms, and the first thing I tried on was that colorful button-up blouse. It was definitely a really fun piece, but I was gonna pass on it, but Kiki liked it so much that she actually ended up buying it. So in the end, it did come home with us. And next I tried on this really interesting Zara sweater, which I know seems odd since we're still in the middle of summer, but don't be afraid to thrift for off-season clothes because they're usually less picked over, so you can find some real gems. Uncut gems. Uncut gems. Right. Anyway, then I tried these striped jeans, but they were Forever 21 and the fabric was uncomfortable. Then I tried these shorts that I loved. I've been looking for this cut and wash for a while, so I couldn't believe I found them. And we were about to check out, but I spotted these Michael Kors low rise shorts. So I ran back into the dressing room and I was really hoping these would give brat girl summer, but honestly, babes, this was serving Shrek. So we finished up at Goodwill and sister got such a good haul. Then we went to Buffalo Exchange and I sold some clothes and got store credit, so I tried on this beautiful anthropology top. It was too big, but I loved it so much that I'm gonna buy my correct size online. Then I found this really cute Princess Polly dress, but for some reason, I'm really picky about tops that poof out the sides like this. I feel like it creates a uniboob effect, but it doesn't look that bad in the footage, so maybe I'm just a Lulu. Then I tried on this Urban Outfitters dress that looked way different than what I was expecting. It it was an absolute no, and I tried on this adorable vintage dress. I really loved the color and pattern, but it wasn't really wowing me, and the store was about to close, but I found the cutest floral quilted puffer jacket. But it almost seemed a little too puffy. I felt like a giant marshmallow. Oh, it's so cute. <gasps> oh my god. But I went back to the store over the weekend and I'm so glad I did because look at this top. I literally have no critiques. This was a 10 out of 10. Then I tried this cute button up blouse. The little details really got me. This top was absolutely precious. And girl, a denim corset was on my thrift list, so I was shooketh when I found this. But unfortunately, it was really loose up at the top, so it didn't feel secure. I felt like it needed another button up there, and there was some weird pulling going on, so I was actually heartbroken because I really wanted this to work out so badly. But hey, that's the game of thrifting, baby. Hey girls, so we're back home, so it's time to do the haul portion of the video. Just a little warning that nobody asked for. I'm kind of feeling like a hot mess right now. <laughs> right before filming, I busted off my thumbnail and I have a really crazy bug bite on my arm that is so freaking itchy. I'm just gonna be popping some ointment on every now and then. It's the Japanese kind, works like a charm. Anyway, on the first thrifting day, I actually only got one thing from Goodwill, but then you guys saw I went back to Buffalo Exchange because I had a lot of credit from the items that I sold and I really wanted to get something and I'm so glad I went back because I found the cutest pieces and I'm also going to be showing you guys some items that I thrifted from other thrift trips that I haven't shown you guys yet so it's actually looking like such a decent sized haul oh my god it looks so fun and colorful I'm so excited to show you guys let's just get into it okay so this is the only item I got from that thrift day but it was this adorable pair of mid-rise medium wash shorts these were exactly what i was looking for and for how often i wear jean shorts in the summertime i desperately needed these and i got them for a really great price i think i got these for only 5.99 and here is the label and brand for anyone who's interested and from a different trip from goodwill i found oh, you guys are gonna die look at this adorable little mini skirt this is actually from urban outfitters and look at this colorway isn't that really unique i I just adore little mini skirts like this. There's so many ways you can style them and I feel like they just kind of like jazz up a plain outfit like this with a plain white tee. And I scored this from Goodwill for only $5.99. 
And also you guys saw while I was thrifting, I have been really into men's button downs. So I got three new ones from Goodwill. The first one I'm showing you when I saw it in the store was an absolute no brainer because it is the most perfect shade of butter yellow. Even though it's oversized, it doesn't look sloppy. There's something really chic and kind of old money about it. And there's so many different ways to style these. I've used them as beach cover-ups. It looks good tucked into shorts and jeans. I even like to throw these on top of a tank top if I'm feeling a little too exposed. And they're still just really breathable for the summertime, so they are perfect. And here's the label for this yellow one. I also got this really beautiful sky blue pinstriped button down, but the stripes kind of look like a salmon-y orange color. But I have been wearing this one like crazy. This one's actually from Michael Kors, and this one was a little more expensive than the other. There's this one was $11.99. The other ones are all $9.99. And the third and last button up, I kind of wanted a fun one and this just really stood out to me. Look at the colors. When I initially saw this, the colors just kind of screamed like berry smoothie to me. <laughs> I feel like it's good to have some simple ones in your collection, but I just wanted to experiment with one that's a little more out there. And here's the label for this one. Okay, I am so excited to show you guys this item because it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I could not believe I found this at Goodwill for this price. Let me try to back up and show you guys. Just take her in with all her glory. I got this gorgeous like medium tone pink fleece zip up, and this is actually from BDG, which I'm pretty sure is a brand from Urban Outfitters. Just like the fit and the color of this are perfect. I also love that it has so many pockets in the front. It even has a pocket on the back. I have no idea what I would be putting in there, but I just love this jacket. And this was priced at Goodwill for only $9.99, so I had to snag it up. Even though we're in the middle of summer, like I was saying earlier, I've recently learned not to skip out on the fall and winter section because they had so many good items that I don't think many other people were looking through. And that's how I scored this bad boy. So I am so excited to wear this this upcoming season. And then lastly, from Goodwill, I got an item that was on my thrift list. I have been really wanting a new panel hat because I wear the same one like over and over. I have been searching for months and I stumbled upon this one. I specifically wanted a light blue one. Like I was about to give up and order one off of Amazon. So the thrift gods were just looking out for me this day and I got this for only $3.99. But I don't know why I love panel hats so much. I feel like they're more flattering on me than like a baseball cap. And this specific shape kind of gives off like a cool skater surfer girl vibe so i cannot believe my luck with this one i'm so happy and lastly i just have a couple items from buffalo exchange so when you sell there they'll either give you 25 percent back in cash or they'll give you 50 percent of what you made in store credit so i took the store credit and bought that incredible shirt that i tried on in the dressing room and to think that i almost passed this up in the store because i saw it on the hanger and just didn't really think that much about it and i was like you know what since i have such an affinity for button-ups maybe i should give this a shot and boy oh boy am i glad i did this is like one of my favorite things that i've ever thrifted like let's just be honest guys the silhouette of this is out of control i love the pinstripes i also love that it has these adorable little cap sleeves i feel like that just adds kind of an elegant touch to it and it's just straight up serving office siren. But the only issue is, is that when I came home, I did realize on the back where the fabric kind of collects right here, I found two freaking holes. No. And luckily it is super easy to fix, but I wish I caught it earlier because they were selling this shirt for $20. I mean, it is really beautiful and worth every penny, but I feel like I could have gotten a little bit of a discount. They usually always do whenever there's holes in their clothing, but this Buffalo Exchange is kind of far away from me. So even if I went and got the discount, I don't even think that it would make up for the gas money that I would spend driving there, <laughs> but it's all good. I could very easily hand stitch this. And this is the brand and also that day, I didn't show myself trying this on in the dressing room, but I found another Urban Outfitters mini skirt. Girl, the way that I have been searching for a black and white gingham mini skirt like this for years. Like if you look back on all my thrifting videos, I'm always trying on a skirt that looks exactly like this. And I finally found one in the perfect fit. I don't know why this fabric just also feels really nice. 
and you guys it has pockets so just for that alone i was absolutely sold i don't know i guess i'm just in my urban outfitters mini skirt kick and this one was definitely pricier than the goodwill one this one was 16 dollars. but you know technically got it for trade so for free and then I also got this super cute like baby doll peplum Madewell top. The color is what really drew me in. I know that this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. These kind of tops are perfect in the summertime when it's really hot and you just want to throw something really breezy on. Perfect for those casual days when you want to run errands but still look cute at the same time. And I absolutely love the little tie straps. And this was also pretty expensive from Buffalo. This was retailing for $22. Why do I have to have such expensive taste and lastly i got a piece of jewelry i got this really cute pearl necklace on sale it was half off it used to be 950 so i got it for 425 i really wanted these pearl beads to use for my own projects i've been really into making pearl necklaces lately so i'm really excited to use these and come up with something um but also i was just really confused i don't know what this little charm is is that the letter Q, maybe? <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter since I'm gonna be taking this apart, tee hee. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is everything that I have thrifted recently, and it was actually a pretty decent sized haul. I'm genuinely so happy about everything I bought, and as you guys saw while I was thrifting, I am pretty picky. So when I do buy an item, I have to really, really love it if I want it to stand the test of time in my wardrobe. But I always have so much fun taking guys thrifting with me, and we got to thrift with Kiana, which was so fun. I'm so glad that she enjoyed her time and actually got a lot of pieces herself, and I'm I'm always curious which items stood out to you guys so comment down below any of your thoughts which piece you liked if you think i should have bought a piece that i left behind reading all your comments and engaging with you guys is my favorite part of this job and you guys are constantly cracking me up in the comment section thank you so so much for being here and i will see you in the next one toodles